Right, good morning everyone. Now, I've got some bead um, spacers here because don't forget I'm doing this um, steampunk one for Jane. I've used chain here. I've used some um, a cog here with a diamantian. A cog there with a diamantian. I'm going to put some more on here, I think. I've got the glasses done, which I've just used rings. They're just rings. I'm not sure if you can see it. Where are we? Can you see that? Yeah. Now what I've got, I've got this hat, which I've now got to split to put on her. And um, I've got the hair, which is here, which I've got to glue into the hat. And then I'm going to steampunk the hat up. I did have that one, but it's it just, it's not right. She needs that style hat, I think. So I'm going to get on and do that. Now, let me do, I've got this empty tub, which I'm just going to pop that on for now. And I've got to cut this hat. Now, I, there's no point in cutting it in half because that's going to stick out away from the um, egg. So I'm just going to cut it like a less than half. I know. Now, the way to make your hats is doing it through felt. Uh, wet the felt with um, fabric stiffener. Put it over and stretch it over like the base of a, a bottle and then leave a rim on it and cut it that's the way I would do it so I've cut that let's have a look and it lifts up there like it's supposed to like that I've got the hot glue gun on and that will go on there and I'm going to put the hair on don't forget Yeah, <laughs> Jane, I hope you're watching this. This will be a laugh if nothing else. So what I've now got to do is I'm going to put the hair along here and then I can alternate, uh, alter the hair as I'm, you know, I, I feel like it. So I'm just going to take little bits at a time. I don't want to do too much at once. And we do sell this, uh, sell this hair. Um, just wait for the glue gun a minute first of all and uh, let me just see got bits and pieces everywhere I need to clean my desk off again I think uh, these are the bracelets I made yesterday now don't forget we have them in kit form now when you see a picture of that let me just show you when you see a picture of something like that that will be the section that you will make to make up your bracelet and then if it's shown with two like one of those and one of those then you obviously have one of them is the central part of the bracelet and then the rest will be like that so you'll get six sets like that now um i, I forgot to put in the length of the bracelets like that's the central one and then i've added a little crystal to the end and that one i love that one i think that's gorgeous and these are um they're all glass beads and that's a pot one but they're just beautiful beautiful bracelets and the thing is no one else will have one like yours because these are one-offs that i've made and um i don't make two bracelets the same well i think very rare do i make a bracelet that's uh, you know more than one of the same they're all uniquely made crystals and pearls i don't use cheap uh, beads at all so it's you know these you'll five or six quid in a shop in fact i've seen a crystal bracelet for 9.99 you know so anyway they're there they're done if you want them they're in the shop so you can either buy them ready made like this so you can wear them straight away or you can buy them in kit form for a beginner and the great great quality i think the 199 for the kit but 
because I've spent the time making them and they do take time to make and that and and uh, adding up all it because every bracelet really should be different price but I think I've kept them all at the same price uh, which is the lowest I can do okay so that's those and they are absolutely beautiful you know really pretty right let's get this going so I'm going to level that off the glue gun should be hot enough and I'm just going to glue around the edge like that and then pop that on push that in and then just pop a little bit of glue over that I'm going to take some more and pop that because I want quite a bit of hair and that will soak that through see it's soaking it through but it's not coming off so I'm going to go all the way along the rim like I say we do sell the hair in packs uh, I'll show you one they come like that on a pelt you've got a pelt that they come on and with lots of colours And then we'll sort it out. I think that's enough. So we shall see. Let's just have a look. Move those out of the way. So we've got the face. And this hat is going to go on there like that. And then I can play around with the hair. Okay. <laughs> She's going, you nutcase. Aren't you? That's what you're saying. That fee's a nut job. Maybe I am. But I love being a nut job and playing around. And why not? So, I'm going to get this as even as possible. So, we need that to go there. Like that. And I'm putting it at a slight angle. And then I'm going to leave that now until I've painted the whole thing because it all needs painting. But I had to get the hair on. Right, Jane, what I've got is this. When we went to Scotland a couple of years ago, we went to a wood carver's and he makes these goblets. And so that's the second one that I'm, I've bought that I'm going to use. For your egg and it's going to look fantastic so don't worry about it so well well i'm gonna to have to glue that in though aren't i obviously let me just make sure i have to put it i'm going to put it at an angle jane because that's they look better at an angle so let me just mark where the glue needs to be there we go just a little bit of pressure and you'll see where they glue needs to be okay so I just pop that back on like that press that down 
I'm just going to hold on to that. Yep, that's fine. And that'll be easier for me to um, work it. Paint, you know, hold it and paint it. That's it. Now what I've got to do really carefully is to paint up to here. So I'm going to start now. Wrong brush. Let me have a look. This one maybe. Sorry, it's just the way it goes. I need to get a smaller brush to start with to sort this out. I'm not putting an undercoat on. There's no need to. At least you're going to get a couple of layers of this. Okay. Right, let me just sort this out. Which I'm just going to pin together. Oops, like that, and attach that to the hat, out the way. Oh, there you go, see, just think outside the box. Should we clip them little bits there? So I just thought I'll share with you this section of it. As it dries, it will um, like pull itself in, and uh, so it might find a little space, an air hole or something. But yeah, it's uh, pretty good, is that? Yeah, it's gonna be fine, Jane. <laughs> I'm just gonna do up to the leg. I'm not gonna paint the leg just yet because I'm gonna need that to hold on and what not and that won't but take long to do when I've finished we've got a dog in the, somewhere in the area that yaps they must put it out when they go to work or whatever and it yaps and yaps and yaps and while it's been on lockdown we haven't had much of it now everybody's back to normal it's yap 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 so if you know who i am and you live nearby and you're watching shut the dog up <laughs> because 
<laughs> it gets on your nerves. We want at the back and one at the front. I have two dogs and they don't make half as much bloody noise. Sorry, but, you know. There you go. There's no need for it. And people are very inconsiderate of others these days. That's what I find anyway. Right, I'm going to let that dry, Jane. And I think that's going to end up fab. Like I say, it must dry. I can't put the heat gun on it because if I do that, we're going to end up with no egg because it melts the egg. Makes a nice pattern to it, though. <laughs> so that's that. So I'm going to put some lace around here. I might put a lacy puff sleeves because they have lace, don't they? Lacy puff sleeves. Then her hair's pinned up out of the way at the moment. Now, let me just see. And I can always add more if I need to. I'm going to use those because I'm going to paint them black. And I do want to put something on the top of that egg. And I'm going to use one of my acrylic. Uh, one of my um, doorknobs. That's going to sit on the very top because we want it really nice. Now with this one, it's a black ribbon, but it's too thick. So what I'm going to do, I don't have any normal black ribbon, I don't think. Okay, need to take my lighter without burning myself. And thank you to everybody for the kind comments. I've, you know, I do get some awesome comments from people. I never really get... I try and thank everybody, but it doesn't always work like that. Right, so I've made myself that, because she's going to have that coming down from the hat. So what I'm going to do now is to cut this into three, to be honest, and glue this on together like that. Kind of like that sort of thing. Now, put that together. Use my tweezers. And I've got like a taily thing like that. That's it. And then what I need to do... to do that like that so that's that bit done now this I'm going to keep that on because I think that's going to look fab uh, put that to one side they're all going on and off I've got to put some silver chain using these connectors and I should have four or five of those so, what I've got to do now is to get a connector into there. So, let me just figure this out. Here we go. So, I've got to get this on that. I mean, it's a bit of a waste, but I can uh, always sort this out. Um... Let me just think. So I'm going to push that back. We might need to shorten this a little bit. Pull that. Pop the chain on. Not with a broken link, mate. There we go. Hopefully this will work. Because I don't want to put a loop on it. I don't need to. that in ain't going anywhere and that's what's going to hook into the hat you see so what I've got to do is I'm making it I'm not sure how long 
gonna hang on that so oh no that'll do that's fine that is fine okie dokie right we now need this to go on this side where's that bit I cut off I can use the same wire no I can't because I need that bit silly old it's just little spaces Oh, Raymondo. He always rings when I'm filming, as people know. Never fails. <laughs> right, so where's my bit of thingy? There we go. So basically, I'm only using the spacer uh, because it's big enough but and small enough at the same time, if you know what I mean, to poke into the hat and it'll be hidden with the hair. So it's out the way, but the chain will be there. Um, let's pin that back and then just close that gap that's it so <clears throat> see I can use that bit of chain somewhere and we're just going to build on this and I'm not sure at all what this is going to look like at all <laughs> no. I don't know right so um, I do have that that um, is actually too big right I'm just going to uh, glue this one on let me just see which is that one and then that one isn't it where's my glue oh here we are I'm just finishing using this glue this is, I mean, it's not what's in there. I might made this and put it in this tub. It's just easier for me to handle a smaller one. See, what's going to happen is I'm going to put that on there. Like that. Just as a second part of the earring. And that will dry clear. So you've got to be able to see that earring once we've got the hair down. So that's to go on the thing. We need to paint some of these. I might use them. I don't know yet. I do have some more uh, of this that I can put on. I've got that ready. That can go back in the pot at the moment. I'll just put it there. We've got some lace. Might not need that. So I've got to do the frill for the dress. I don't know how to do that. Let me just see. Because I've got that, but I also have, and it depends how black it ends up, it should do black black. Oh, that says silver lining. I don't want silver, I want the black. Limited at storm cloud. Let's see what storm cloud's like then. That's better. like that and I'm going to put some sequins not sequins some uh, bling on that so I'm just going to try and dry that like that and then when that goes on the front that's uh i think we can do that now anyway just let that dry a minute so that's the bit of a frill and it's black and silver ish okay so we've got that they can go back in the crystal box now let me just have a look at the hair it's uh tended to dry now 
So let's have a look. I'm not sure if you can see. I'm going to do it that way. Oh, where are we? Let me do it like that for now so you can see. So, this is where I need to get this done. Let me just do this bit. I need to put a blob of glue on that. And that, can I hope you can see? Putting a blob of glue on that and then I'm going to push that up into the hair like that see whoops <laughs> and then we're going to push this up into this section here because it's purely decoration and she's uh, a bit wild and then I need to put this one um, in there like that I'm just putting a dob of glue in there to pin that in like that so we've got that oh she's a bit wild isn't she <laughs> put it this way well it'll be anything like her She's got bits in her hair. So I only needs to go to that one. I did one too many, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. So we're now just going to put this on, which is her dress. I'll take her hair out of that, obviously, Fee. I'm just going to trim that bit down and add a bit of glue on it, doesn't matter. Yeah, you won't have another one like this anywhere. <laughs> what's not, uh, what's showing. Like that, just pin that down. I'll blacken all of that. But so far, that is what we have. She's a very wild lady. And I just, now what I've got to do is to fit some feather in the hat. This is where I have to be really careful because she obviously needs to have some feather there. But I'm not going to do it where it's sticking out too much. I will sort the hat out. But she's going to have this feather on first. Like that. <sighs> on that just goes the right way. Um, some cogs. Where's my cogs? I'm going to give her a, a flower, but I just have to paint this one black. Yeah. And then I will edge that in silver and that will look really pretty. So I hope you're liking this so far, Jane. I ain't got a bloody clue what it'll turn out like. Now, that is the top of the egg, and I want that on. Oh, God, that's going to look fab. I'm going to move it up there, actually, so we can see it better. Right, okay. Okie dokie. I'm just going to sort this out. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do is just to dry this off. Oh, I love that. I don't, I'm not sure what you can see. Let's have a look. Right, okay. I'll take all the strands and that off later. 
not that fussed about them and we'll do this cog as well so it's like a cog band see just hides that bit when it dries oops it will be fine Move that into position, that's it. That'll have just hidden that little bit of glue. I just pinned up the that a bit. It was weighing this down now. I didn't want this weighted down. And I'm going to put in another little spacer there. I think I should have put some in to weight it down, to be honest. I might just do that. I don't know. We'll see how we get on. That's just brought this feather up a bit more. Yeah, I do like it. I think the hair's great. You know. So she's got a little bit of glam as well as chain. Like I said, I'm going to round that off and clean the hair up and whatnot. I hope you're liking this so far, Jane. Like that will all lay, you know, properly when it's stood up. Thanks for watching, take care and come back for part two. Bye bye for now.